every commonwealthy buddy. Finally, we're back. Wow! Oh, we're back in my main character of my main walkthrough on YouTube of Fallout 4. So I've been um, messing around with uh, a survival mode character who is now beyond the level that my YouTube character is. In fact, you see that I haven't even found XL1 armor yet. I'm still stuck on T60 armor, I think. Hey, where are you guys going? Okay, see you later. Yeah, Codsworth can take care of these guys. So anyway, we're at Revere Beach Station, as you might guess. Whoa, 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 there's a third one. Okay, and of course, naturally, I'm stuck on terrain. Wouldn't be Fallout 4 without getting stuck on everything. Dang. So we're getting attacked by mire lurks. We're, uh, looks like we're walking right into a raider nest. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. In fact, there's somebody with some serious armor over there. Look at that. So this is not a survival mode character yet. We can just take him out with the fat man. I just don't want to deal with him right now. We want to get this over with. Boom. Nothing like a big explosion at the beginning of a video, right? Boom. Yep, that took care of him, all right. And anyone else near him, it also took them out, too. That's the reason why I did that. Now, re because it's not survival mode, uh, the ammo doesn't have any weight. And we are going to convert this to a survival mode character, just not right now, okay? Let's get the missile launcher out and get some grenades ready. Oh, yeah? Hey, what's up? Okay, this has a... Yeah, I was just going to say, this has a... Uh, bayonet on it, but I can't do much with it when somebody's right behind me like that. Where are they? Huh. Isn't that odd now? Oh! Codsworth decided to take care of him. Okay, since we can't kill Codsworth, we might as well just launch a few missiles at the Meyer Lurks. Boom! Cosm... Blew them apart, didn't it? That ended that fight very quickly. Uh-oh! Codsworth! Oh, shit! I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, poor Codsworth is all messed up. Huh? Who's this? Oh. That's it. Yeah, now he's okay again. So, in when you're not in survival mode, your followers will uh, automatically repair themselves after a short while. And that's what you just saw right there. Okay, I have some other interesting weapons. Why don't I show you mine really quick? They're a bit different than my survival mode character. I have a submachine gun. The auto pistol. Uh, I for my melee weapon I have irradiated knuckles. Oh, but I can't use that when I'm in power armor, so I'm gonna have to get rid of that irradiated knuckles. I still have that damn laser musket. Thanks to Presco Guard. Oh, you wanna go eat? Yeah, I, I just launched a fat man at one of your friends, but well let's go eat. I'm starving. Okay, come on. Boom! Eh, that wasn't very effective. Uh, and I need a stim pack. That's good. So stim packs tend to heal much quicker when you're playing very hard as opposed to survival mode, as you can see right there. Boom! And I missed him. I totally missed him. There we go. So it's important when you're using the laser musket to crank it up beforehand and then go into bats. See, just like this. Bam! Ouch! Chopped a piece of my armor right off. Thanks, buddy. Hey, what's up? Ah! Got him. That wasn't so bad. Okay, I, this is the first time we run into book return tokens, too. Um, those are going to be exciting. I'll show you how to use those. Ouch. Blew up right in my face. Alright, let's see what we can see here. Ah! got him, and we leveled up. Isn't that great? Sweet! I can't imagine anything that could use us, that could help us in this battle at the moment. So I'm just going to keep stimming up, and then we'll use... Ah, couldn't get him. Gotta have to switch back to the missile launcher. So missile launcher and fraggy grenades. How about like way over there, and then just, just for sharks and giggles. Yep, I blew someone apart. Someone went fly. Whatever you see someone go flying in the air, that usually means you got him. Bam! S nope, that didn't seem to do much, unfortunately. Okay. I'll just keep straight feeling. 
Oh, I see. There's two people attacking. All right. Yeah, someone right over there, eh? I think we can I think we can figure out how to get him. Well, I can't jump up on it. There we go. That's better. I want to hit him right in the arm so it doesn't It didn't do one hit point of damage. It's starting to piss me off. Yeah, these uh, terrain problems can really mess things up. So you have to kind of shoot them behind, right in my face again. So this is the never-ending grenades. Yeah, some of these raiders have like, the never-ending grenades, la 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 la. Isn't it amazing how the grenades just never, never end? Yeah, smash right in the freaking back. Sometimes you have to shoot him in the face. Kill him with fire. There's the never-ending grenades. It's amazing how many grenades you have, buddy. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, die. He's still alive. It's amazing. And we discovered Riviera Beach Station, at least. That's important. That's good. Yep, and never-ending grenades. Codsworth is unfortunately stuck right in the middle of the battle where he can't repair himself automatically. So let's think about other things here. Let's do a point blank range with a shotgun. Boom! And I forgot. I forgot to reload and I got stuck on terrain. Bam! Bam! Damn! Okay, let's kind of run this way a little bit. There's an alley we can hide in for a second. Yes, I will win this. Where are ya? How are ya? Yeah, this is uh, still a bit of a uh, challenge, but I must say it's not as challenging as survival mode is. There, finally got him. The never-ending grenade. It's amazing. And I can't repair Codsworth. There is no such thing as a repair kit yet. And that's really not how the followers repair themselves when you're not in survival mode. They just kind of automatically fix themselves after a while. There's another grenade. Damn, I'm almost dead again. At this rate, I'm going to lose all of my stim packs. So, but there's other things we can eat. You know, we can eat cat meat. Mmm, that was good. We can eat Cramington. There we go. So it irradiates us a little bit, but at least see how quickly we recover our health. It's hardly, it's hardly a challenge when you recover health that fast. I'm so used to the excruciatingly difficult survival mode. Whoa! My frame rate dropped to like nine points. I don't know what the hell's going on. Just a minute. I'm gonna have to fix this. She's, she's right in my crotch. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that was all about. Just another Bethes bug. That almost never happens. I don't know why it happened just now. Ooh, is it? Nope. Okay, let's uh, mess around with the machine after we kill everyone. Sound good? Somebody just shot me, which means they have a line of sight to me. Oh, it's Skeet Ball. See? It's Skeety Shoot. Skeety Shooty Ball. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. Thanks for... Thanks for the warning, buddy. I wish I could find that never-ending grenade guy. Eat yeah, eat this! Eat this! Eat this never-ending grenade bouquet. Okay, so he must be up on another floor. Let's at least take... Oh, there he is. There's two of them. Fine. We'll get through this. Just hang on. Oh, what's the best thing to... Yeah, let's hit him right there. Bam! Bow. And no damage whatsoever. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. No damage at all. Okay, let's... Uh, well, there's the book return machine. Or the token return machine. Uh, you can accumulate tokens by returning overdue books. So we are going to find those, just not right at the moment. Let's take these last few people out first. I think there's a few raiders left. Uh, I'm using a submachine gun on these guys. Hey, we might have taken them out once and for all. Actually, I think we did. 
Nope, there's still one left. Somehow we managed to miss this guy. Isn't that interesting? Oh no, he's a Brotherhood Knight. I see what happened. So they came in the nick of time and finished, started finishing off these idiots. Good. And that knight almost died, by the way. You know, if he did die, then we could loot his body. I'm sure uh, Elder Maxim wouldn't mind at all, would he? Okay, let's start by looting this uh, nice steamer trunk. Yes. Dang. Okay, 16 book return tokens. I'll show you how to use those in a minute. Now remember, in um, survival mode, ammo does have weight, but in very hard mode, ammo doesn't have weight. So we can loot all the ammo we want. All right, here's a Live and Love magazine. Good. Plus one luck from alcohol, which I don't use often. In fact, I really only use alcohol to craft other ingredients like whiskey makes grape mentoots. Grape mentoots gives you better vendor prices. So you actually your money goes much farther when buying and selling stuffs. Is that cool or what? All right, so we going to start looting this place. I'll show you what kind of good loot there is to be had here. And then eventually we're going to have to go into Revere Beach Station. So we did discover Revere Beach Station. It's actually a subway. Or this, you know, this area is built around a subway. There is a subway to explore. We'll go in there in a minute. By the way, we are on our way to Libertalia. The quest is called Synth Retention. So we have to meet up with the courser over at Nahant Wharf right here and then eventually he will guide us to Libertalia where we have to beat a synth who thinks he's a raider and we have to initiate a factory reset on him and send him back to the Institute <laughs> so it's quite a complicated quest but that's well that's where we are okay I'm g we are going to loot all this stuff uh, it's important earlier in the game like this to loot ev anything and everything and the reason is um, well, that accumulates wealth, and you can't carry everything, however your companion can. And the way to get your companion to carry anything and everything is to direct him what to loot. See, so you can't pick things up and then give it to him, but I can tell him, see, like I can tell Codsworth, hey, get over here. Yeah, he can't make it over that barricade. That is so annoying. Okay, so we have to... Drag the body over here. Okay, now maybe you can reach him. Grab anything useful. There, Check see? He took everything. He just yanked everything right off that raider, which is good. And then we would do the same thing to this. So I already did... Whoops. Oh, shit. I just took something by accident. Okay. Oh, man. I'm having all sorts of problems all of a sudden. Yeah, see? He can't reach it. But if we throw him over the barricade, then all of a sudden he can. Get it. See if there's anything there. There, he just literally yanked everything right off the body. All right, that's awesome, isn't it? Now let's take a look in here. And before too long, we're going to have to end. That was quite a firefight, wasn't it? But we did level up. Uh, let's take a look and see. Yeah, we actually have two perks to use. So why don't we level up first? La, la, la. So I am working on intelligence. I do love intelligence uh, because you level up quicker. That's very important because there is no level cap. So there's every reason to level up quicker. We've now unlocked all 10 perks in the intelligence tree. See, we can even use Nerd Rage if we want now. Uh, I don't really need it. But, uh, and this is actually a good place to end. We will finish looting the outside of Revere Beach Station, and then we'll head into the subway station itself next time, all right? So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel, and you get all these Fallout 4 videos in your inbox. I also do a live stream with a different character, which is in survival mode. I also do Skyrim. We do Dark Souls 3 walkthrough, and we even do a Tales of Zisteria walkthrough on the channel, okay? And there's a lot coming in the summer, so subscribe and stay tuned and add a comment just say hi and see what you tell me what you'd like to see in the summer okay we'll see you next time in Revere Beach Station thanks for watching